Okay, next up is a listed uh, mare's event over two mile four furlongs. It's a hurdle. And number one is a Celadora. Two is American Girl. Three is Ashkalani Japan. Four is Black Widow. Five, Business Lady. Six, Kamadatha. Seven, Eskimo Jane, last week's winner. Eight, for Luna Bible. Nine is Field Trip. Ten, Fight the Power. Magical Climate at 11. Miss Scotland at 12. Natalie's My Love at 13. Sunset Ride is 14. Western Gate is 15. And 16 is Zombie. So 16 of them. Well, there's two and a half miles here at Fosslath. The rain has started to come down. And here we go. Let's see. So it's Eskimo Jane that's going to lead from a cellar door up. These two are going to go neck and neck into the first flight, I think. They do. Eskimo Jane took it a lot better. A cellar door gave it some air. And then we're followed through by American Girl. And then business ladies behind them. And they're already a couple of lengths ahead of the chasing pack, which is being led by Miss Scotland. One just getting a bit detached at the rear and falling back is Sunset Ride. Let's hope there's not a problem with that one. So they're already through three flights. And back up front, it's Eskimo Jane from Aceladora. Then we've got American Girl and Business Lady. These four are a couple of lengths apart. Oh, there's a poor jump there by Business Lady for Alex Cherry. He's demoting himself into the chasing pack. So as we go around this, so it's Eskimo Jane in one, Acceleradora's two, American Girl three, followed through by Business Lady in four, Miss Scotland five, Western Gate six, seven is Zombie, eight, Field Trip in the light silks towards the fence, and on the outside is Black Widow in the gold, black and red silks of Moilet Surfer, and they're followed through by Magical Climate, Kumadatha against the fence, then on the outside of that is Fight the Power, Natalie's My Love for Luna Bible, Ash Galani, Japan and Sunset Rides managed to get just tagged onto the end of the pack. So Sunset Ride and Ashkelani for the commentators bringing up the rear. So it's Eskimo Jane that still leads us just by a length or so now to American Girl and Aceladora. Oh, and a poor jump by Eskimo Jane there over that hurdle. Slapped its legs against it and allowed American Girl to take it up. So it's American Girl now from Eskimo Jane. Still Aceladora and Business Lady are there. And they're still being chased through by Western Gate and Miss Scotland. Oh, a little bit of change of position now. Field Trip's doing well as is Zombie. Again, on the outside is Black Widow. So back up front, it's American Girl and Eskimo Jane. They take it together. That was the seventh. The one that's just moving quite comfortably on the outside is Aceladora. But it's Eskimo Jane from American Girl and Aceladora. These three are a couple of lengths of Business Lady, Miss Scotland, Western Gate and Zombie. And they're a length or so ahead of uh, Field Trip and Black Widow. Then a length further back to Fight the Power, followed through by Faluna Bible. Magic Climate, Sunset Ride in the Purple Silks. Then we've got Kumadatha against the fence. Natalie's my love. And then really detached at the moment is Doug Warren's Ash Kalani, Japan. He's got to uh, do more than sprout wings from there. But back up front is Eskimo Jane that still leads us. Still over a, well over a mile to travel. And it's Eskimo Jane from American Girl in second. Business Lady's moved up on his haunches in third. The two that look quite threatening are Western Gate and Miss Scotland and Zombie. From some of the top trainers there, those three. And then we've got Black Widow and Fight the Power. Field Trip moving sl slightly up on the inside. But they're through eight now. And Eskimo Jane's joined in the lead by Business Lady. American Girl just a length behind. Here come Western Gate and American... Sorry, Miss Scotland. Better jumps by those two there as Western Gate takes it up now. Just by half a length from Eskimo Jane. Jane purely on the jump. Then we've got Miss Scotland and Zombie all looking ominous. Nice fast jump there by Western Gate. It's taken a length lead from Eskimo Jane. Miss Scotland under a little bit of pressure to get a better position. Here comes Eskimo Jane again, but it's Western Gate. They go over the 11th. A slow jump really there by uh, Eskimo Jane. He's demoted him into the pack and it's Western Gate and Miss Scotland that lead. American Girl still plugging on. Eskimo Jane tries again. Comes Kumadatha. Comes out of nowhere. Just cruising through there. Looking good. One on the outside in the brown silks is for Luna Bible, but it's Western Gate that leads us, just by half a length from Eskimo Jane and Miss Scotland in third, all under a bit of pressure now to get better position, Eskimo Jane gets the whip out, takes up half of a, half a lead advantage from Black Widow, these three now along with Western Gate are starting to pull away for Luna Bible, doing really well, hanging on to the chasing, the, the pulling away pack, but it's Western Gate, we've only got a couple of hurdles left to negotiate, it's Eskimo Jane that starts to push for home with Western Gate, Black Widow, they take the 12th, they're all over it, good jump by Kuma Daffa trying to make up some ground, but it's Western Gate and Eskimo Jane neck and neck. Western Gate starts to pull away now. Eskimo Jane's under pressure with Faluna Bible in second. Here comes on the outside is Kuma Daffa. We've only got one left to go and Furlong left to run. It's Western Gate by a couple of lengths from Kuma Daffa. Faluna Bible plugging on as is Zombie in Miss Scotland takes the 14th. A good jump by Western.
Western Gate. We've only got half a furlong left to travel. I think Western Gate's going to comfortably take this. And a good ride by Kumadatha. Probably needs just that furlong more. And I think third was Miss Scotland. Faluma Bible, a good run in fourth. And Zombie in fifth. We'll wait for the final card to come up. And it is a win for Western Gate. Gate for Jim Murray, well done. Kumadath of D. Thompson in second. Third win is Scotland for Paul Rhodes. Faluna Bible for Hands was fourth. Good, good national hunt horse there, Hands. And fifth was Zombie for Joshua Sutherland.